the more challenging part for our members is, you know, a lot of folks have kids, and so it, it's always a sad time for us to, to be in that situation. A difficult night for firefighters who had to carry three children out of a burning home. Those girls are in critical condition. Another man inside the home did not survive. Alexis Moberger joining us live from that scene now in West Columbus with new information. Alexis. Terry, we're still working to get more answers on what exactly caused this fire, but we are now learning that the smoke detectors inside the home were not working. If you take a look, you can see just some of the damage that was done from this fire. We're told it happened around 1 o'clock this morning. We're also told flames were filling the house and even shooting from the windows, and that's when firefighters went inside and found tragedy on the second floor. We know 22-year-old Robert Taylor is dead from this fire. There's also three girls who were found and they're young, just seven, eight, and 10 years old. They were still alive, but badly hurt. They're now in critical condition at Nationwide Children's. We're also told a fifth person was found injured outside as well. Paramedics took that woman to a hospital. She is expected to recover. We spoke to some neighbors in the area who woke up this morning and say this is a true tragedy. I think we should all have smoke detectors that can save our life. Um, look at this situation right here. The kids, they, they hurt. One lady hurt. Then you got a gentleman that was only 21, 22. He done passed away. It's a learning experience for all of us. We also know that even more people were at this house overnight and they were not hurt. Fire officials are still working to get an exact count of how many people were living here. We're told there was about 13 who were involved, but still waiting to confirm that. We will continue to cover this and bring you the latest updates. You can find that tonight at 5 and 6. Live on your side, Alexis Smolberger, ABC 6 News. Thank you, Alexis. New developments in this story will come in throughout the day, so download the ABC 6 app. That way you'll be first to know when the information comes in.